Great. So, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Uh, we are back today on Friday. And um, today we're going to share about Neutricon, um, a technique for quantum life transformation. Okay, and I have Grandmaster Jess, uh, T.Y. Lim here, and he is the CHIMAC uh, President and Worldwide Grandmaster, as well as a naturopath. Um, and um, he is also the inventor of Neutricon. So let's hear from him today about his journey in the creation of this wonderful technique. It is a very um, it is a type of a permanent um, life transformation uh, technique, and I myself have experienced it before. So here we will talk about it and we will discuss about it. If you have any questions later, please uh, raise your questions and um, over to you. Okay. So, <laughs> so. So maybe, uh, Grandma suggests maybe you can share with us about um, beginning. Yeah, the beginning. How okay. how did it all you know evolve over the years? Uh, well, during my childhood, you know, I was born uh, on Borneo Island, uh, jungle. So the uh, you know when I was young, I used to climb tall trees to look at birds, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, plucking fruits from high. Trees and no fear of height. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly, when I was on my 23rd birthday. 23rd birthday. Yeah, 23 I, years uh, old. Yeah, 23 years old. Mm -hmm. So I went up a stair of an uncompleted building and then I, I, I missed my step and then I fell and hit, didn't hit my head, but just a big impact on my whole body, my hands, the front. From that moment onward, 23 years old, mm -hmm. I was unable really to look down on any, the floor that is even two, two, you know, one meter high. Oh. Even half meter high, my heart started to jump. One meter high, suddenly my heart started to jump. So that time I was involved with visiting uh, homes and uh, buildings and so on, you know, my job. So I had lots of problems. So I went to see, there is psychologist, Western trend psychologist that did many things. Uh, they even host me up to a coconut tree and then let me drop down in a way in the pool and uh, ask me for go for swimming jump from the platform. Of course, I, I knew how to swim, but didn't work. Then my heart jumped every time I dropped down. So it got worse then? I got worse. So so, you know, so every time I go upstairs, you know, uh, any building, you, we used to live in a two-story building. So I, every time I go upstairs, oh, I, I can't look down, I have to look up. So I don't have this nervous. When I was flying, I sweat, you know, because of the plane go up, you can see. So a lot of time I have to pretend to meditate to calm myself down. So all these years, then I, then I met a, the shaman uh, mm -hmm. uh, from America lady, and she was a uh, Apache shaman mm -hmm. lady. They were doing this, uh, you know, out of space fly, mm -hmm. you know, ego and so on. So I was one. I, I went and it was very interesting on a New Year day. Uh, at that time, you know, my wife said, oh, if you, today's New Year day, you're going for a seminar for three days. I say, yeah. But at that time, I think most people would have uh, decided to stay home. But I thought that was my destiny. I must go. Of course, my wife, ex wife, was not very happy. She was Debbie to come home and all a lot of things. So I went, but I never regret. I said, you know, sometimes in life, he says, if you reach the milestone and destination, you have to do something, you have to decide, mm -hmm. you know. True. Because we have New Year every day anyway. But uh, that moment, my feeling was that shaman lady, mm -hmm. she could do, you know, spiritual healing and do um, <clears throat> journey, you know, mm -hmm. on past life, journey of life. So I was very excited. So I went 
And after that, I spent 45, 50 minutes, you know, mm -hmm. flying around like Ingo and so on. We went up to a, a hill about 800 meters in New Zealand at the time. Mm -hmm. the time I was living in New Zealand. Um, so of course, one of the things I went to New Zealand to was to seek help for my uh, height, fear of height problem. So you see, normally what you seek, you find. So I met this lady first. And then after this therapy, the three days course, I lose about 30 to 40% of the fear. So at least if I go to three, four story, I just look down, I still, okay, manageable. Yeah, Before even good. one meter, I was mm -hmm. not. So slowly I get used to it, I do formation, I'm okay and all this. So I help. But over the years, then I keep on finding ways. I say, then I, I ask around, the lots and lots of people also have fear of high, they have fear of uh, all kinds of things, uh, fear of coral creatures, fear, fear in a big day, fear of snake. At the time in New Zealand, we don't have snake, but a lot of coral creatures, people fear of coral creatures, people fear of uh, all kinds of things, uh, fear of uh, yeah, animals, fear of dogs and things like that. So I said, well, fear is a big thing. So I said, of course, at the time I was involved in business, uh, studying and researching on all these, uh, you know, uh, ways to help people to overcome because mm -hmm. I was involved in corporate recovery work, helping business to recover from a bankruptcy or not making profit. So a lot of people I met have different kinds of fear. So the big, for me, or the word fear, is so big that it affects so many people. You That's know, true. CEO That's true. fear of making a decision. I mean, procrastinate. To, to me, you know, I work with a large corporation, multinational. You sit there, you know, you know. For me, that's it's, it's only a thirty second or one minute decision. That's the way to go. But the CEO takes weeks. So fear, fear of making decision. But I couldn't do much apart from that. So I waiting, have to wait and wait. Of course, uh, if you are a consultant, if you wait longer, you get more money. That's okay, also okay too. But in terms of human problem. So I keep on improving, improving, find ways. So finally, um, 30 old years ago, uh, I've been, you know, I've been doing on and off the Nutricon, well, not a complete Nutricon, but a small package of it, you know. Uh, different time for 50 years. Then 30 old years ago, mm -hmm. I found that by going back to past life, mm -hmm. uh, then I could resolve. Then I found that I went back to past life. I was an uh, um, Apache chief, you know. Mm -hmm. So my horse was fighting the American root coat. So we're trying to jump. We are very tired and try to jump over a, a cliff jump over to the other side. But my horse was so tired, it didn't make it. But other make it, so I, that's why I start to recall when I was young, seven, eight, nine years old. Every other night I had a nightmare that I felt it. I was yelling to my mother, please catch me, catch me, you know, I could see myself, Falling. yeah. So then uh, anyway, subsequently after that, many years later, I went to America, took a, a plan, flew over the Grand Canyon. I found as I was nearing the place where I died, I could fell. And then the pilot was said, why are you shaking the plane? I said, I didn't shake, but I was holding, I was shaking, you know, I was sitting next to him. I said, I can see that you're not moving, but the thing is your whole body is shaking and that we, we could fall down, you know? So I said, okay, okay, okay. I tried to come back down so I could feel it. The, the, the side where I fell and died. So that finished the experience that because even after a lot of uh, past life therapy, I still have a little bit of that fear mm -hmm. of height. So after I went through that, the fear gone. So as a result of this, I've set up a package consisting of five major techniques. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, one is going back past life. Regression technique. Regression technique, going back to past life. Mm -hmm. Number two is um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Right. I also did a, an advanced course, a diploma course in New Zealand to do with psychology and, uh, and uh, 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 what they call hypnosis and so on, you know, connected. Mm -hmm. uh, how people, you hypnotize to suggestion to make people uh, lose their fear and so on. But anyway, all the STEM, we do quantum alpha, 
meditations. Mm -hmm. So and qigong breathing, breathe the the, uh, the all energy out. It's also, so it's a combination of five. Neurocon is that is uh, my creation. Neurocon means neuro linguistic transformation or you know quantum changes. So it's not so I from my experience now, up to now mm -hmm. I've been doing. Uh, human therapy, well, working with people for 50 or 60 years. Uh, I found that uh, past life uh, is the key to resolving most of our emotional problems that we see in humans. Because every day, not over 90%, even 95% of the things happening, we repeat doing. In this life, is also connected with past life, you know, past life. So I've gone through thousands of past life uh, regression myself, because I, after, you know, I was coaching people, I, I could do my own past life in 10, 15 seconds. And like now I just blink, I can go back to past life to, to resolve an issue, because every time I see an issue, I have a problem with somebody, confrontation or, dislike somebody. Mm -hmm. I feel that it's the, there must be something connected. So I gone back. So I found that every time when I somebody I don't like, out of the blue, somebody I don't, don't like, but not because of the way the person be, uh, uh, behave or whatever, but it's just that person alone, you know, seeing the image of that person. So I found that a lot, most time it's connected with an event in past life, not this life, previous life that we have confrontation. Uh, is it something like deja vu kind of thing? Well, people say deja vu, but basically it actually uh, the the event that we had, you know, during past life, pre, not this life, pre, the life before, repeat to this life because we have we have a, a traumatic encounter okay. or an encounter that is really life threatening, especially you know that so make you so angry or upset that you really want to kill somebody at the time. You know, that's our feeling. So that is a trauma anchor in. So I found that every time with this type of problem, uh, it's always connected with past life. So once you clear the blockage, change the negative, the problem with the person to positive, you become friends and so on. You act it until you make it, you know, the, the saying that. Then the problem is resolved. Like for instance, a guy in uh, Austria, I worked in the hotel, Straight away, this guy, he was dressed casual. That five-star hotel belonged to him. Mm -hmm. I straight away spoke. I disliked him. I told my, my uh, translator, German translator, this guy I don't like. He said, well, but he looks okay to me. So then I went back to my room. I went back past life. He was a soldier, for instance, during mm -hmm. my Russian. Uh, I was a general in Russian army, so he was fooling around with the wives of the soldier. It caused a lot of upheaval. So I told him, if you continue to shoot, actually, I want to shoot him on the spot. But somebody said, give him a chance. So my deputy said, because they were connected, you really related. Mm -hmm. So so that time go. So I changed that. There's no problem. Then he came back the next day. At first, you react to And then next day, uh, the, well, that afternoon, actually, we met again in the restaurant. He looked at me. He was very aggressive. I said, well, who is this guy? Uh, you know, them I was told they, from the, the waiter. Uh, he, he's the owner of the hotel. I said, oh, owner of the hotel, okay. So we got in the wrong hotel. But anyway, uh, I, I, I instantaneously, I went back past live and cleared the blockage. And then 20 minutes later, he came back. He, he nodded his head, looked at me, nodded his head. He said, uh, can I give you, a, offer you a drink? To me, to me I asked the, the Manager, is it normal for your owner to do very seldom? Only people very close to him. I said, well, maybe he likes you. I said, well, you know, sometimes you make changes like that. Things transform. You know, we call it quantum, quantum effect. Quantum quantum effect. effect. That's why it was a quantum it's effect. It's like a 360 change. Yeah, it's change. like one speed. Yeah. So I ate on a lot of this. Uh, From a dislike to yeah. yeah. So I... Uh, so I also this but the technique a neutricon also include regression to this life, you know, from the time of the age of a person, from say I'm 79, I'm almost 80. So I if I have a problem, so I go back year after year to the time of conception. 
you know, in my mother's womb. That's so, a lot of years to go back. Yeah, yeah, a lot go back. It takes one hour, sometimes about two hours to a session, and then go back. But most of the time, we uh, the best is if you can take somebody back to past life. Is the technique that I have has quantum effect because I take people very fast to theta state for five hertz of the brain wave. So the the excess we call the past life channel, you know, like you tune on to a radio frequency, mm -hmm. BBC, you get BBC or a bad, or, you know, or voice of America, voice of China. So that is the wavelength. So I discovered through meditation. So once you get people to that stage, mm -hmm. and of, of course, with the exception of three to four, five percent of people, they have fear of going back to past life because they don't want to face the past. So these type of people, you cannot take them back the first time you need do other things. So the five techniques are including you to con, uh, back up one after another. If you cannot, do, we try at first to take people back past life. If they cannot get back to the past life, then we do the second one, third one, point, and so on. And then affirmation and so on. So we have this, so you know, it's, it's a backup complete package itself. So of course, uh, many people are doing NLP. I also do NLP. I also do uh, psychotherapy. I also do uh, hypnosis. I have a qualified hypnosis diploma. But I found that yes, you can program them talking, the, you can suppress it. Yeah. But the root cause of the problem is connected with past lives still there. It's, yeah. yeah, so that's why, uh, you know, for, for especially like it's asthma. Okay, people say, oh, asthma is hereditary. And so that's not true. Like for instance, asthma. People are asthma, for instance, you do drowning past life. So you can do a lot of things and so on. It doesn't work. That's why there's no cure for asthma but medication. It's suppression. True. It's true. But I have done a lot of uh, work with people from asthma. One of them was uh, a CEO of a large corporation, multinational in uh, America. So he booked, I was living in New Zealand, so he booked a session with me because mm -hmm. I, he asked me when I'm free. He flew all the way from America. He said, I said, I have four hours time because before I flew to Europe. So I wait for, I can wait for you if you we meet in the airport. So we meet in the visitors lounge and so on. So I, you know, this guy, every time there was a board meeting, mm -hmm. he would go into Cecil. Cecil. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he always had two doctors with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, two doctors. So after that, I managed that for one hour, took him back because he was very sensitive, responsive. 16 past life, every life he was drunk a different way. And one or two was suffocated, suffocated people really, you know, uh, strangled. So that the, the emotion, you know, like short of breath, like similar to, so in other words, um, so this, in fact, the most difficult, of course, people with heart problem. Uh, of course, subsequently, we also do help. I'm a natural path. So I found that people with heart problem, do severe heart problem, doctors say incurable, you need to have bypass or change the heart. So I also have a lot of people from many countries that need uh, heart bypass or heart replacement. I found that 99% of the time, there are arrows or spear on their in, you know, in still stuck in their heart in terms of the energy of the spear and arrow. So they died. See, when a person died past life, the arrows and sharp instruments are still on the body. Mm -hmm. So that, that, although the physical part of the human died, they bear it, they pull out, you know, after a person died, you pull out the spear arrow. But the energy of those arrows are, are still there one life after another until you clear them. Yeah. So and the traumatic, traumatic. Yes, it's, it's image. captured. Image captured also in our soul and in, right. in the brain. So we call it in our mind, connected to the soul. The soul is we, you know, hold that energy. Uh, because when we reincarnate, go to like we reincarnate into another uh, reincarnation, we bring all the past events and traumas mm -hmm. and good things to us. So I, then I found that now I think we got, I must say um, that uh, um, the Nutricon package is complete, not only the past life to clear negatives, but we also help people to manifest. 
instead of fear of doing big project, a lot of people fear, they want to do big project, for instance, but they could not do it because they have fear. Mm -hmm. So they don't attract that type of big project. So we take them back to the time in the past life, they were doing multinational and multi-million mm -hmm. present time type of projects. And after that, they, ch they change their consciousness. Now, of course, the genetic, of course, the parent genetic, you know, is about three to 5% of our memory too. So we also have Neutricon too, yeah. that we take people back to, uh, to the ancestor time. You know, you go back to ancestor time with permission, uh, 10, 20, 30, 50, trans, uh, and then from there, clear the blockage. Like I see a lot of people, they want to be wealthy, they want to be rich, but yet they reach a state, they, they fall back yes. because they have deep uh, poverty consciousness that connected with ancestors. That's why when we're doing all these things, sometimes we ask, uh, we check using kinesiology or pendulum or your feeling, whether it is your own, which is 90% or your ancestor, which is 5% and then the environmental condition is one or two percent. They're affecting, you know, people said, oh, because why? People said, something is going to happen to you. They said, oh, just by chance, there's an earthquake that you, a person died. Mm. But your soul have not learned the experience. So your soul bring you to the place when... To live in that place. To live in a place, right. of all places, mm. uh, so that you would die from that, you know, situation. Then you find that past life, you also die in a volcanic zone or, or die drowning and so on, you see? So, so these are the, uh, the things that we found. But I can tell you, everything, every human, mm -hmm. obstacles, problems, blockages, uh, you know, uh, people like to commit offenses and so on, and they're so used to it, for instance. Like some people is they like to, to find a way to cheat. Even there's no need to cheat, they'll find a way to cheat and block. Because it's like, it's part of their program. It's like the path, you know, they just do it. And then there, some people have remorse. Oh my God, you know, I've done the wrong thing. But some people guilt don't feeling. guilt feeling. But a lot of people don't have that because it's just like part of the, the program they come from, the past, like the water is flowing, you know, there's no blockage. So you they need to say, hey, no, you need to stop. So you need to make them aware and take them back to the past side why they're doing this. They're now, then we find that they were cheating people. Uh, then they go into trouble and all this. You see, a lot of things happening now. It's a reputation. And also, uh, we also come back to this life, reincarnation, to do the opposite. You know, like people uh, was uh, died because they were so unsuccessful or successful. So this life, for instance, uh, like people, we, we connect, of course, this to our Rosu practice, to Rosu mm -hmm. astrology mm -hmm. practice. Certain people don't have certain number, for instance, for success. You can see from our yeah, from the lawsuit too, you see, okay, they don't have a fall, which means harvesting. Everything they do, they must have a harvest, be successful. But a lot of people don't want to have this because past life, they were too successful. Then they got robbed or they get killed by criminals or by robbers. So this life, they don't want to have that fear. So they come at, at metrics that they don't have this, this life. But we can, of course, change this using Neutricon to go back to past life to see why they don't have the phone number for success this life. And then we say, okay, change this into positive. Then uh, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally, they have the phone number. Although physically that number does not appear in the birth chart. So we call the hidden uh, numbers like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So in other words, they, uh, the Neutricon can solve almost all the problems that we think of. I think I've reached a stage to make it so complete and perfect <clears throat> that they and no, we have not seen a problem that we cannot uh, resolve or make improvement, okay? Because all our, the root causes of all our present day problem, 90 or percent to 95% connected with the past life and the early life here. Mm. So the, and the other thing, of course, for those of you with knowledge, we, you, you come, you see, you have certain track problems that you want to resolve. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you go to a family with similar problem, but, but modern uh, scientists said, oh, uh, that's genetic, you know, you, you're going to the family, you know, you're with a family with this problem and so on, but it's not like people say heart problem. Oh, you, uh, your, your grandparent has heart problem, you're going to have heart problem. That's not true because a lot, most time is you have the problem, you go to a family, also had the problem, 
to help you to manifest that problem so that that family families can help you you know so that is a, a logical uh, explanation to have this but of course uh, science are still in the rudiment stage they don't understand or there is because uh, more scientists are christian so they don't want to get involved in in research to the past life and so reincarnation and so on except buddhists and hindus you know, which account for more than half of the world population they uh, they believe in this you see like that yeah so so about the story about the person who had asthma so what happened to him after 16 past lives you know uh, some of them will be one or two right okay you know he has two doctor one especially because too expensive to bring two doctors from america so he has one doctor always following him and he always get a local doctor so that they need emergency local service that doctor could help so he has two doctor when we are uh, I, I was waiting in the sitting room in the business class. He came in, uh, then he's with the two doctors. Uh, doctor was standby with all the equipment, but nothing happened. He, he, he went into a traumatic state, but I calmed him down, so he come. So the doctor needed to do nothing. Well, in fact, one of the American doctors was so excited. So every time oh, he felt like he has a problem to breathe, because you relieve your past life trauma, uh, you know, difficult to breathe. So the emotion is very yeah, real. Yeah. So doctor want to get the ready the injection to calm him down, but I said no, 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 don't do that. So both doctors. Day after I, uh, he gave me every. I said give me uh, feedback. So every three four months he sent me a note how his condition and so on whether he want to meet again. Then he said, since that day in uh, at the airport in New Zealand in Auckland. He didn't have a second attack. Mm -hmm. So he always had a doctor with him for six months uh, for board meeting because it's very traumatic, you know, people are challenging him. So uh, he, after that, introduced a lot of people, senior people in management from uh, America or uh, Europe that he has a uh, good connection uh, for me to do therapy. So I did a few also in Europe, mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, but very effective. Of course, I also do acupuncture. I, I could give uh, the needle to calm down a person with asthmatic attack, but that's that's just only uh, relieving the symptoms and that's sign. True. True. But the root cause of the emotions, uh, we got a hidden black spot, uh, were not clear. But he, his case completely clear. I asked him to do a formation, to do breathing qigong. I told him to do breathing qigong. Qigong is very important breathing. This so being very good uh, for people with asthma because most asthmatic people couldn't breathe. They only breathe to the top part of their body, uh, the lungs. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Anything else uh, you want to ask? <laughs> yes. Yes. Actually, I was also diagnosed as having asthma when I was younger. Yeah, but you did. You never had. It's just that you're. You have some problem. I, I had to good. use inhaler everywhere yeah. I go. Yeah, Otherwise, but, I get. Yeah, but, that's, but that is not asthma. It is just bronchitis tube. That's about 30, 40% of the people around the world, modern world, have this because of the polluted environment. So sometimes if you're, you're short of breath and so on, so because you breathe top, but the moment you learn, you push and learn to breathe to your belly like babies, young children, then you start to breathe more than you're smooth. So I also, I can tell you this, I also had this problem to to breathe uh, when I was young. Mm. So I uh, I went down to water, I also had panic and so on before. But slowly I do deep breathing, qigong breathing, I learned qigong from master. So slowly, slowly, breathing can, uh, can release a lot of old trauma as well. Deep breathing, I'm ready six in, six out, and hold your breath up to 60 or, or 90 seconds. You can slowly, slowly, you know, you do it 10, 20 minutes a day. You can also clear a lot of deep trauma. <clears throat> yeah, but it takes longer time. But past life is the fastest. Hydrocon one, is faster. Yeah, one hour you can take some, somebody back to many past life to clear the blockage. So I also have fear of water, going into the water. Yeah. So but surprisingly I got my diving, advanced diving license. Yeah. It's okay. as, long as, uh, as long as you do <coughs> like my case. After that, I never go diving. 
<laughs> yeah. So when I first learned to swim, uh, actually, I never learned to swim, actually. When I was uh, four years old, I saw my sister, brother, jump into the... We, we live next to uh, the beach. Mm. <clears throat> they jump in because we have a garden at the back, you know, uh, back market. So I also jump in, but I saw that they are doing paddling, you know, like we call the, the dog paddle. So I also learned this. That's all. Actually, never, no, I never had teachers to teach. So actually, at the age of five, I saved a seven year, eight year old boy. He fell down. We, were, we used to live uh, along the, uh, you know, the coast, a long bridge. So he just walked, walked, and then he fell. So I was at the back. I looked at He asked, yelling for help. So I, at that time, I didn't even know how to swim. I was paddling and pulled him by the hair and then hold into the post. We were, we were cut by the barnacles on the post mm. at the time. But he survived, survived this guy. So he didn't die. Did you have any trauma after that? No, no for trauma. me, trauma, just the cuts on the hands. Oh. And he also had cuts because he was climbing to me. And then I push him down, pull him up by the hair. And then I hold onto the pose, pulling his hand. Oh, oh, I was breathing. I still remember a friend of mine. Action. <laughs> friend of mine there uh, a few months ago. So, you know, you remember you said this? Yeah, I say yes, but I forgot most of it. He said, oh, you were holding his hair, you're pulling his hair. And uh, he was yelling and so on and so on. <laughs> so then we have a few grown up came and, you know, I think, us. I think a lot of events in our life, uh, in this life, actually is a trigger for our traumatic events in the past. Um, because uh, over the years, I found that I have fear of birds. Yeah. Fear of birds. And, and when, I, when I start to revisit, uh, when I start to have therapy, uh, like uh, through NLP, and also finally through uh, Nutricon, which the, uh, the fear has already disappeared altogether now. Um, only thing is for over 40 over years, I have not touched a single bird. So I, I still have that uh, yeah. memory of not touching the birds. Yeah. But looking at them, I don't have any fear anymore. But previously, just looking at the bird picture, it traumatized me. Mm -hmm. It's really scary. I, I really, I can't look at the bird, especially the eyes, you know, the eyes. So um, I think... Uh, when I was younger, when I was, uh, I think, um, much younger, I remember that I actually played with the, the mother hen and the chicks. Yeah. But I don't know what happened. The mother hen was chasing after me, then I got traumatized. Mm -hmm. That's one event. The second event, I was picking some fruits on the trees. I was climbing trees and I was picking fruit. And then when I jumped down, there's a dead bird on the floor and it traumatized me again. And the third event was my brother <laughs> had to cook for a meal for dinner, I had to cut the whole chicken. You know, here, uh, here in, in Sabah, those days, we in the market, they sell the whole chicken, you see. Yeah. They don't like sell chicken. body parts. They don't yeah. sell the chicken parts. They sell the whole chicken, including the head and the, and the feet. So I had to like cut off the head. <laughs> But I don't dare to touch the chicken, so I asked my brother to cut it. So after he cut the head, he chased the, he chased me around the house with a with a chicken head, and I think that traumatized me also because I was got so scared. I mean, now when you think back, it's like oh, it's so funny and so stupid, right? But the fear and the emotion is real. It's really real. Um, after that, we went to Kulu a few years back, yeah. and this and this. What was that? It's a, a chick. <laughs> uh, well, I always say. Uh, I mean, it's not really big. It's like you yeah, know, the size. It's, uh, it was chasing after me like yeah, it's in, surprise. I was know, surprised. Like, like, but not chasing after me because we were almost yeah, very they, nearby. They, it's really looking at me. They running, you know, running after her. You know, the small chick yeah, like that. It's a could've... vengeance, personal vendetta. <laughs> yeah, like that. So, it was so scary. Yeah, like like you know that is a consciousness okay. attract. You know, you have that attraction. Yeah. Same like people, you know, some, some people attract oh the God, dog. That's Anjing. scary. So the dogs, you know, they five of you, they only go for one guy, you know. Then you sometimes don't understand, but that is the, the frequency connected with pasta. You know what? It's like you are 
you have something that's connected to that, you know, really beaming. Yeah. So, so I mean, your case that, yeah, I did the past life with you. Yeah, so in the, I think that was in 2017, yeah. I think we went for the visit. And then uh, I did an, an NLP on that. Um, it helped, it helped me a little bit that I can, I can look at the bird from far, but not, I can't still, I can't see the bird on the phone as well. Still cannot, yeah. I can't, I can't even touch on the picture, no way. <laughs> So I think when was that uh, that we did yes. the Neutricon? It was uh, also a few years back, I think 2018. Uh, we did uh, a Neutricon to bring me back to the time where it's, uh, we always go back to the root, the root cause of the problem. So I, this is what I really love about Neutricon that you really look at the root cause of the problem, not just, uh, okay, I have fear. So I have fear of blood, uh, birth. So you just remove the fear. No, that is not the solution. It's not. The best solution is always to go back to the root cause of the problem, which um, um, grandma suggests brought me back to the root cause of the yeah. problem, which I have seen myself eating birds. I have, seen myself um, eaten by birds. Be eaten by this uh, dinosaur <laughs> bird with long beads. She was eaten up. I also saw it I think too. that was about seven or 11 years old. Yeah, 11, yeah. 10, 11 years old. So, yeah, 10, so 11 she, years was, old. she was torn into pieces by uh, uh, five of those uh, dinosaur birds, you know, with long beads that can fly that three, four meters wing. Like, it's not fair, you know, he can see it yeah. before I even see it. So he brought me back, but, um, and, and then I saw a little girl on the hill uh, coming out from the cave. And then there's this big bird, you know, it just, I don't know what happened. And then suddenly I see lots of little birds about, like, they don't really look very little. <laughs> and then suddenly I don't see anything anymore. Yeah. They, they so she was killed. So we changed that. We changed that. And after I came back, after I came back, uh, looking at the bird picture, wow, I can really touch it. Oh, this bird is so cute. Yeah. Oh, actually, the birds are so cute. <laughs> yeah. So you see, uh, most of the techniques that, in fact, all the techniques about uh, getting rid of emotional problem, fear, mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. I've gone through because there was my research everywhere I went. Uh, and spend a lot of money doing this. I found that, you know, even in NLP, which is working well for most cases, but still not the deep root enough. You see, it's like you cut the trees, you know, the tree, there's a problem here, the roots, like, you know, I was involved in a forest. So I know when a tree has a branch uh, that is rotten, that means the root is decay. There's a, or the trunk has a stress. So you cut off that, uh, rotten trunk or even the whole tree doesn't help because the problem is the root is a, so you need to that's why we say we need to take the whole root out then you have to cut the root out mm -hmm. so it affected that with the disease uh, you see so so that's why the neutricon the I, you know I use different stages of technique to take people really back to the root of cause of the problem the original problem so how do you relate um, the problem, the current problem, to the root of the problem? How do you know which one is the root? No, it doesn't matter what we do, but mainly we say you go to the cause, main, major cause of the problem, you know, trauma. So you go back, but we leave it to, to the individual person, feel comfortable. Sometimes the individual feels, oh, the first one is very traumatic. Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's not just one life, you know, like people drown. Like this guy, 16 past life, he was drowned. The age of his soul, you know, since his soul, but of course he was very, uh, very old soul person. He's more than 4 million. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he has 16 past life of drowning, just drowning by water. So they cause asthma because it's asthma. I mean, they, when a person is dying, you can see the type of emotions and the, the behavior. <gasps> You know, it's like that. <clears throat> you cannot breathe and so on. <clears throat> now that come out, trauma come out. Mm -hmm. Then once you erase that, then it's gone. But of course, the yes. physical part, the spiritual, emotional, and mental mm -hmm. clear very fast. The emotions and the spiritual aspect in seconds clear. Mm -hmm. The image you change clear. 
just like a computer, you know, you want to clear something, you erase, it's clear. But the physical part of it, that's true. You see, that, that's why people ask my text about like this guy. I told him uh, 16 pasta. I said, you have to take some, uh, some cough mixtures, you know, some uh, lung, you know. Uh, I asked him the best, of course, for people with asthma is to take uh, bird's nest, swallow bird's nest, the best for the lung and the bronchitis tube. In fact, uh, now with COVID-19, uh, those who are can well to do so buy a ready pack or uh, bird's nest, or buy bird's nest and, and a steam to eat because they help to expand the lung. The best is also, the non-sweetened one. Yeah, I understand that. Or you see tuberculosis in any time, the Chinese medicine in, in the Piero Palace, they use bird's nest too. So you know what, <coughs> we, I asked him to continue to use that. That's why he, I asked him to arrive back every two, three months. So after six months, he said, well, nine months. He said, he, all his symptoms gone. Or he feels still sometimes feel a bit difficult to breathe. But not an attack, you know, because because the, you see, when a person has asthma, like your case, uh, your bronchial tube problem, the bronchial tube, you know, it's supposed to be big, but suddenly because of inflammation, it's getting smaller. So the the air duct getting smaller. That's why there's the wheezing sound. Wheezing sound you hear, you know, like something is blocking it, you know, wheezing sound. So if you take away, I mean, right now we have tamahan tea. If you tamahan. take Tea or from people, yeah, people take ginger, mm -hmm. lemon ginger, uh, honey tea, occasionally sip. They also help to sort the throat and expand the lung and so. Mm -hmm. So, so that anyway, we come back. Uh, the important thing is, is why we are so confident that we have very good success because I discovered through meditation and with a lot of my enlightened grandmaster spiritually. They help me to get through the find. So there's an old saying, what you seek, you find. We, you know, what you seek, you find. So I was seeking that, you know, like that. So like magnetically or spiritual, I'm attracted to it. Mm. So that helped me to overcome my own problem and also uh, be able to set up the package called Nutricon that contain five or even six uh, therapy together as a full Pack, complete package that cover every aspect of the problem. So we have never, I've never had a problem, uh, human emotional problem, uh, fear of things, fear of death, fear of snake, fear of success, fear of failure, all these common issue affecting human. We are able to solve them all. So how does one recognize that it is connected with their past and, and whether it is connected with their past or connected with their uh ancestors or their family well you you have to if you don't have the feeling connection with your soul most people are so busy uh but also the regions come into it a lot because uh like they for instance there's not much talk about about soul about reincarnation in the christian bible but actually yeah. the original bible there are 247 verses with Jesus talking about jesus jesus talk about reincarnation about karma, you know, about cause and effect, an eye for an eye, and all these things. You know, this is cause and effect. So all this about about karma, how you affect people. If you become a good person, you will you will get back the good deeds, benevolence in your future, and so on, and including your children, friends, and grandchildren. So all this. Uh, but the problem is, I think, to do with the uh, religion because yeah, uh, but but how misinterpret that how. So, how would a normal person know that if it is connected with their past or connected with their ancestors? That doesn't matter. So what you do is you can try, if you don't know, just ask the therapist who can do Nutricon, take you back to past life. And then feel it, check kinesiology, for instance, you know, like kinesiology to check. So instance, I can check your, for instance, put your feet down and then I can check, okay, uh, make strong hole, make strong, Okay, so you are, you are balanced. They might say, okay, is it connected mainly with your own past life, your case? Yes. Consistent? No. Like your case is to do almost 90 over percent completely. Of course, one of your ancestors also eaten, eaten by birds, but that's a long time by feeding this. So, 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 so that's a matter. The important thing is you attack one at a time. The most 90 over percent of what we do are connected with our past. 
So the few percent ancestor is secondary, you know. So, so basically what we're saying here is that as long as you have a problem in this life, yeah. or whatever problems it is, most of the time it is connected with your own personal, your individual past. Yes. So if let's say I have, I have a fear of water, then of course it's connected with my personal drowning. drowning. Yeah. Um, if I have like asthma, then it was connected with suffocation or drowning yeah. in the past too, because then that... Uh, prevents me from being able breathe, to breathe, breathe properly. Yeah. So if I have, um, you know, I have suddenly, I, I, I just like to collect all the, the stray animals, of, you know, on the street. Yeah. So is that also connected with past? Past life, because maybe, well, the past life, you are very cruel to animals. You're cruel to dogs. Some people just, just kick dogs and uh, destroy dogs. So this line, the guilt feeling so strong, you want to come back to this line to care for the dogs to, as a payback. You see, you, you have created an imbalance in your faculty, okay? So now because you kill the dog, so this time you want to come back and compensate for this. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, for instance, uh, you know, they're uh, like fear of uh, success because they, they, they were very successful. And then because of success, they died. They got hit, they got killed by robbers. All the government in olden time, the government confiscate, take away your property. Mm -hmm. You know, it's throughout the whole world the same. The royal family take away all the, the lords and so on, you know, the, the, the nobles, because of the connection, they take away. Well, so you're a happy family, but you're rich, but then you suffer. So this life, you don't want to live that again. You see them, you say, okay, I'm doing small deal is enough. Don't be fear. Any big deal, yes, you're still interested. As a businessman, yeah, I like it. Have the big deal, uh, uh, big deals, but then there are a lot of fear. So when you have hidden fear like that, you cannot attract to those big projects. However hard you try. So that's why I help a lot of people. For instance, he has a fear of big project. I help him to clear. Now he's a billionaire, you see? So these are the things that, uh, you know, like from my experience too, every one of us, we attract certain level of prosperity. Mm -hmm. For instance, uh, one person by he, herself or himself, maybe the maximum they can earn a year is 100,000 US dollars. So anything above that, they can, they, if they do a work above that or they do a project about it, they will have lots of problems because there's a blockage connected with the money they're earning in past life. Mm -hmm. Because you see, although uh, that's why I'm still working, how to connect past life debts to present life debt in terms of quantum. Mm -hmm. So I'm still working on it, you know, how, how and, level. In terms it's of, always like 10 times more. Yeah, 10 more percentage and so on, you know, how it's comparable. So that's um, why, uh, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm working on that now to how we can uh, raise the prosperity of a house mm -hmm. to the level that commensurate with the rate of prosperity you want. You see, some houses people live in, they are billionaire, but they're living in a house for millionaire. That means that they're over expanded there. So you need to live in a house more suitable to your standing so that you can hold your wealth. So that's part of another thing we are doing now, you know, like that. So, so, are, so in other words, in other words, people make decisions based on um, their past experiences. Sure. Of course, you first, the moment you make a decision, you can see that some people procrastinate. Mm -hmm. uh, like for instance, uh, someone cannot start a project. Mm -hmm. You know, every time there's a project to start, they cannot start. They just procrastinate on it, undecided, indecisive. Then some people, very fast, straight away they do it, and then they can never finish the project. Why? Because when they finish the project, like I took two engineers back, mm -hmm. one engineer, uh, German, mm -hmm. he said, why I have this problem? The wife actually came and tell me about that. Not him. My husband can never finish any project. Even his garden, his, his garden, almost 80% of them, he never finished. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, we've gone on a trip, minute long trip, one month trip. After two weeks, he want to go home. He doesn't want to finish. So I took him back past life because he fear of finishing project. So he was an engineer building a London, ancient London bridge. 
So when it was ready to open by the mayor, Lord Mayor of the, the, the place, a lot of people walk on the bridge, too many collapsed. So he was killed. In ancient times, they killed him mm -hmm. because they want to find fault. The mayor or anybody find fault. So because he wastes a lot of money, so they kill you. As a, so you see, this person uh, caused the collapse. Now we kill him, we finish. So because of that, he died in the trauma. So this life. So I cleared it for him, he didn't die. The broken part of it, so they repair, still good. So he did affirmation, come back. Then you know what? From that day onward, I, of course, occasionally I fall back on my client. How do you feel with this? I say, oh, very good. Now we decide one month holiday, one month we finish, he one more. So every project he does, he can, you know, he can finish. That's why also like for instance, we have one guy, that's the Swiss guy. He, uh, he's always late. He came to three of my seminar always late. So I told him, please come. If every day, he is the last person to come to class. We started uh, in Europe, we started, you know, uh, 9.30 in the morning, he will come at 10. So this, so I took him back past life. He was uh, in Austria. He was a ski instructor. So he was very enthusiastic. He went early, you know, to prepare things. So an avalanche killed him. So from that day onwards, he will never arrive for anything he does because this means death. So that, that trauma, that trauma trap on him, everywhere he goes, he will be like, even so, one of my agents in Austria too. I mean, imagine I used to have big seminar there 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. So we have 95 people I come for, actually also come from Neutrocon one, Neutrocon place. By that time, the Neutrocon is not as perfect as the present uh, uh, package. He was nowhere to be far, even 9.30, he come at 10. So I have to let everybody come in and start teaching. And then he start to go from one table to another to collect the money. I was a bit really mad with him. Why couldn't he come at eight o'clock? You know, then, you know what? Second time the same, same and then the three months later, another seminar about healing. He also 10 o'clock, right? So I took him back. That night I took him back. We spent time together, discuss and I gave him optimism. He said, yeah, no problem. He said, I don't believe in a past life because I'm a Catholic. I said, I don't care whether you believe or not, you just listen to what my instruction give to you. But I'm, what I'm going to do has nothing to do with your Catholic religion. Doesn't cause any harm. I'm not changing you. I'm just changing the bad pattern that you have now because you're always late. Because mm -hmm. I said, so at first he said, I don't, I don't bother, I don't care. I said, okay, then I cannot appoint you as my agent because you are so late. We have to do extra work. People are mad waiting for you. See, especially German, they want, if you are 9.30, you call somebody nine o'clock to come. They wait for you nine o'clock, 8.30 to pay so that they can come into the hall because I give handbook, mm -hmm. a menu handbook to everyone. Mm -hmm. So they're waiting for the menu. Mm -hmm. So they're very mad. So after that, he said, okay, as long as you don't do anything that affect my religion. So I took him back past life. Yeah, so that solved his problem. Three past life actually. So a person who tends to be consistently late or yes. tend to have- Consistent, uh, unable to finish project. And un unable to arrive uh, for appointments. Yes. Or meet or, you know, go for the appointment basically. Yeah. So that is also connected with your Sure, class. that's mean that they make appointment at a point of time, something traumatic happened. Oh, but but what if this person is, okay, they have made the appointment and then something happened, some, some incident happened around them that made them delay for this to, so, I mean. Sure, in a case like that, they could lose the project, for instance. They could, they could for instance, they have an appointment to see a, a royal family or royalty or a general or, or there, he's a general, he's supposed to come to help the other army to fight, but it was late, delayed by weather, what? So the other army, 
uh, army was completely destroyed or their army was completely destroyed by delay by another army. So there's a lot of things happening that make them, that him unable to arrive on time to achieve the mission. So in other words, whatever that is happening is trying to make this person relieve the experience, the past experience. Something will happen in this life so that this person cannot meet or arrive to the appointment on time or so, before. Yeah, so that's why you see, so they're on time. So the idea is to make them aware mm -hmm. that they have a problem. That's why I have the six A to solve a problem to quant for and also for quantum manifestation. Mm -hmm. Six rule. Mm -hmm. Number one, you must be aware. You must be aware that you have a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, must number one, A, A awareness. Mm -hmm. Number two, okay. Accept that you have a problem. You must accept. Some people say, oh, it's okay, I'm late. So what? Everybody is late in uh, Malaysia or Indonesia or people in Nepal, they're always late. India always late one hour. So it's okay, every Indian is always late or Mexican always late. I said, no, that's not true. So they must accept, okay? <clears throat> Awareness, accept them, action. Take action, find somebody can help you. Okay, somebody who has this knowledge to help you. Okay, guide you. Then number four, okay, do the change, action to change, make changes. Five, affirmation, A affirmation on the change. Six, further affirmation, you the corner. Okay. So I have the six A, 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 A. If you follow the six A, 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 your life will change. That's why. 80 from my experience, 70 to 80 percent of the people are not aware that they have a problem, or even 90 percent not aware of their problem. Even they're aware of a problem, they said, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, it's not a big issue. Like, for instance, I have a guy I work often with, mm. he's always late. You know, we have a uh, he was the MC for a master of ceremony for an or, or event, he arrived when we're about to finish. The event and then subsequently always led for meetings and so on so he's a very good target to go back past life to see what happened in his past life what about a person who wants to make sure that everything is perfect yes like you know a perfectionist okay and yes street then, perfectionist this you know everything must be in order yeah you know why these are the people that they don't go into details in their past life. So they don't check. They got you know, in trouble. They go into trouble. Or like, for instance, one person I took back in Egypt, the, uh, the Pharaoh asked him to build a big castle for the son, for the crown prince. Mm -hmm. he, he, he did a lot of projects. He said, oh, I did the previous uh, uh, king and the royal family. So, well, the emperor's son, just one of the son, but he's the crown prince. So it's okay. So he spent, didn't bother to check all. So didn't see the perfection. So because he didn't show the grounding was not well done. In ancient times, they don't have pilot. So they're building on sand. The sand, you could have seen hole. Mm -hmm. So the, the palace collapsed before they occupied. So he was killed. So this time, I must make perfect, otherwise I would die again. You know, Everything like must be perfect in detail. Details perfect. So does that mean that a person who has a more seven has this kind of problem? Yeah, that mean yeah. this life they come with the low seven. number of seven. <laughs> yeah, so double okay. seven, so that everything must be checked in detail to ensure they are perfect. Yeah, so they are connected or you know. I mean, um, I'm sorry, I'm not just laughing. I'm not laughing about the problems of human problems, et cetera. I, we have, um, I have experienced, um, you know, downtime, very bad emotional uh, time in my life too. But I, I believe that there is no point crying over, you know, spilled milk or whatever the phrase is um, over the past. So I have moved on. And when I look back in my, my, my past, you know, okay, all these problems, I can just look at it and laugh at it. It's, it's not a problem. So I'm not laughing at humans' problem, okay? It's just that um, every time we talk, we, we tend to laugh a lot. <laughs>
So, okay. Um, maybe we go through the question from the floor because I uh, see some questions okay, here. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, a uh, question first. Yeah, before yeah, we go. Because I asked a lot of questions, um, but somehow the question just come into my mind. Yes, okay. So I had to ask those questions. I'm sure you had that questions too. Okay. So the first question is from Facebook. Are all fear is due to past life negative experiences? What about the home environment that person grow up with? Uh, I can say with 100% accuracy, all the fear, you know, that keep on coming, repeating. I like fear of cockroaches. Simple. People say, some people say, what is this fear? I mean, fear of dogs. You understand, you have a lot of dogs, they're going to attack you. Even I am not fear of dog. I sometimes even see a dog, it's too fierce. You know, I also get ready just in case. But because of why, the all kinds of fear, like crocodiles, okay? Like crocodiles, uh, normally in past life, they, they were really eaten up by crocodiles. Uh, like red, a person, look at red, I must kill. Mm. Because they're living in the sewage, mm -hmm. you know, during flooding. And then the, the, the sewage flooded, the rats has no place to go, so the red attack them. They're hungry, attack, attack this guy, mm -hmm. and eat him up. So this light, he everywhere he see red. Mm -hmm. Even 50, 100 meters away, he will run to catch the red and and you know kill. Mm -hmm. So so that's why all this fear you have, okay, is like attract emotion, like trigger. So you have to resolve this. So you have first not just fear alone. You have to identify what type of fear you're scared. Okay, now uh, some of you, if you are doing business, for instance, you have fear of success, fear of earning too much money. You know, these are common things we work on. Uh, fear of doing a project about certain value. You see, most of you are not aware. Oh, <clears throat> I'm, I, uh, I have a he hesitate to take on a big project. So we can help you to check initiology of at what level, for instance. Okay, at what level that <clears throat> is your blockage there then everything about certain level of course basically every human you have what we call survival instinct you must be able to go and work and earn money for to buy food your necessity or you're able to harvest uh, your food from the forest you know in natural way but anything excess of that you know you that you want you need to do sell you get you know it's difficult some people, for instance, like a guy, he was a senior executive in a company. Mm -hmm. Then the uh, condition in the 70s, you know, it's not good, the oil embargo and so on. So he decided that, okay, I better be a farmer. So he got a piece of land. So at first, at first he was living on the land, but so he found that, wow, so easy to grow vegetable, you know, people selling. So why don't I grow more and more? But then he started to grow more, he can't sell them. You know, because he has this blockage to receive money. Mm -hmm. But as an employee, no problem because he has a fixed salary that automatically goes to his back. But the moment you're talking about go and sell and get money, he has this deep feeling, don't know what how much to ask. Mm -hmm. So so he always asks, whatever you want, give me. You know, so there must be a value for your, you know, your work, your own input, the fertilizer you put in that. You know, and, and other inputs of your workers, you must pay your workers and so on. So calculate that way. But you see, most of this, I took him back past life. Yeah. So he was successful uh, as a farmer uh, to feed his family. But the moment he got more land, he wanted to feed the government, confiscate his land, took his land for military operations and, and feed the army, you know, that the land is no longer. So he working, working hard just to feed the army, but get minimum pay. You know, he just earn enough to live. Because in olden time, you know, even uh, the whole world, China, including Korea, Japan, all the uh, royal family, all the nobles, they own all the land. So you will belong to them. So, so coming back to the question. Um, so if, if let's say the person grow up in an environment in that home, yeah. Is that also connected with his past life? Yes, not the family connected. He has the problem. So he goes to a family with similar problem to manifest his problem, like I said before. So for instance, 
a uh, person I took back American, very aggressive at this moment. Mm -hmm. But then he he uh, he was born to a family. The father and mother always fight since he remember. And then father and mother divorced. Mother married a second uh, man, husband. And that man also very brutal to him, you know. So all this, he, everyday life seemed to be a challenge of brutality, aggression. So, so he get used to this, but he, he's in a trap, cannot get out. But then I took him back past life. Past life, he was also very brutal to people, very brutal uh, to his family. So this life, he come in, you know, with that, hoping to find a solution to change and awakening to understand and aware that he has this hidden, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for instance, uh, some of the Muslim women, you know, the men are not happy in certain country. They come back, they slap their wife. I mean, I asked a woman, why you accept that your husband, when he's not happy, he slap you and she's a very well-educated woman, university degree holder. So I asked her, oh, we just accept. It's okay. I said, what do you mean okay? You get your, your smash, you got your tooth smashed out because the husband wear a very big ring, smash, one tooth uh, went off, have to, uh, you know, to take it off and so on. Uh, then she said, is that a problem? Mm -hmm. I said, don't you see this a problem? You get beaten up, you got slapped. Other women, look, all those, uh, you know, we have, because she came for a seminar. I said, you, you ask all those ladies here, the European in Europe, you ask, we can never, we European never accept our husband come back. If you slept once, okay, second time is finished, divorce. Oh, that's mean divorce everywhere. Yeah, European have this. So because of that, mm -hmm. she was, oh, how do I change? Mm. How do I change? My, I cannot change, right? Because I have to divorce my husband. No. You go back to your past life. Why you attract to this type of man? Mm -hmm. So it took her, I asked another, I didn't have time. So another consultant of mine took her back past life. She was like that too. Past life, she was very brutal. She was a man, very brutal mm -hmm. to the wife, mm -hmm. to two wives. So this life, she become, received the other, you know, received so she. So in other words, instead of awakening for her, mm -hmm. said, you know, you were brutal. Now somebody treat you brutal. What do you experience? To be in a victim shoe. Victim shoe so that you can change. You know what? After change, you know what happened? The husband also changed. She found that because he came from another course about eight, nine months later. I said, how are your changes? I'm very surprised. My, I did nothing connected with my husband. For some reason, my husband seemed to be very nice. Even he has a lot of stress, a lot of problem in the office. He come back, mm -hmm. he, he gave me a hug, darling. Oh, I have this problem instead of coming and slap me on. The, you know what? Because the moment you, you, we as a person, we don't send a signal, you know, because a person has a problem inside. He's like creating and sending a, a message. You know, I want to be slapped. I want to be slapped by my husband to learn the lesson like that. For, but now, for the person to learn the lesson. To learn the lessons. For now, that lesson is gone. Mm. No more. No more impulse. So it's a neutral. So happens. So, oh, okay. That's it. So that's why the there are two ways. Quantum change. Huh? Quantum, quantum change, change, very cheap. Now, same thing is we, we have a technique to take uh, 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 children. For instance, children in your house, you have children disobedient. They're always very rude or not listening to you or they're too lazy, you know, study. So you take the mother back to the past life. So you take the mother back. Mother will see the problem of this child and, and herself connected because I tell you, every man and woman, you and your parents are all connected for many, many past lives. Not this, just this life, many, many past lives. So, so that's when you're changing your past life behavior, also change this life behavior. Mm -hmm. so, so we have people who change, for instance, uh, always lazy, you know, like one, the son always lazy. After changing uh, in a positive sense, you're very hardworking and become successful. 
Suddenly one day, they said, out of the blue, the son can never do anything housework and come to money. I think you better give me some work to do in the house. It's not fair. You mind me, you do all the work. Like that. And then there's another case. The mother came worried, said, I'm so fearful to allow my daughter to move anywhere. I'm watching her every movement mm -hmm. in the house or in the garden, just in case she's going to have an accident. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah, like that same happened because something happened past life to her on her own children. So this time, this time she had a child. She also watched. So then she went back past life and changed that. So now, now the girl is more free. Before, you know, imagine your mother, you look at, don't do, do, do. I'll do, mommy, do for you. Cleaning the pot, no, don't do, don't. In you scratch your nail, you get painful. So do everything. And then the best shit. Any mother, so now they say, oh yeah, the bed shit. Oh yeah, don't worry. Mommy will do it very short time. Don't know. You just go and study. Maybe. So she, she spent most of the time study, 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 sit from school, come back, have meal, them on the table, study, study, study. So what a boring life, you know? So now at least she realized that, oh yeah, I make my daughter really become a, like a robot, you know? So, so terrible life. I had. So the changes, you see, the neutral corn is a package with different system to change different family members' behavior, okay? Yeah, which you can also use for relationship. Policy. Yeah, you can also, I can tell you, for those of you working with employees, you can also go back and pass life to change your behavior so that you can work better with your team. Okay, there is a question. Uh, I hope we answered the first question, yeah? Okay. The second question is, um, from Zoom, what is the difference between blocking past life karma and guided determination karma of a soul to reach the goals in present life? Do you understand the question? Again. Um, what I think there are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, there are two techniques here that you're talking about. Is it one is connected with blocking past life karma and the other technique is guided determination karma of a soul to reach the goals in present life. Yeah, but the point is this, everyone come with a goal to clear blockage. With a life achieve, mission. With a life yeah. mission. Yeah. But some of them, they want to do achieve the mission, but they can't because there are blockages connected. Just like we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Fear of success. Yes, you want to do a project, but fear of success, fear of working with people for instance. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we say, oh, how can that happen? You see, a lot of people working in the office, they don't want to work with another person. They just put, okay, now you, I finished my job, that's yours. You know, they don't say, you know, cooperate properly. So both are connected to the same thing. Huh? We're mm -hmm. talking about the mission is that thing. Some people, awakening, you remember I said that five, six A, awakening. Sometimes they realize, oh yeah, I'm the type of guy. You know, I always late. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, like I said, many people here, you know, sure, they're always late, but they say it's okay. That means their awareness that have not accepted that they have a problem. I feel, you know, for instance, if I have a problem, straight away I say, mm, why I do this? You know, but you see, some people, they don't know that they have a problem. Okay, so that is the problem by itself. So they are not aware. No awareness. Yeah. The protect it is normal. Yeah. It becomes but normalized. It's normal. Nothing yeah. is normal. Okay. Every one of us is different. Nothing is normal. So what if you, I mean, instead of, okay, I, I guess blocking past life karma is like, you know, you just forget about the past. You just forget about the no, past and then you just move forward. You can't. You can't, you are Will not, it make any changes? You um, can't, you can't block. For instance, if you fear of, fear of, fear of rats or fear of cockroaches, you, you see, okay, I block, I don't care. There's a cockroaches in front of you, oh, 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 running away. Uh, like for instance, uh, there are men, fear of women, talking, yes. But when a woman get one meter, you, you see, you see, start, they start to, to, to go away. One time I said, I said, what are you doing? 
because we have a course, they are sitting, they are always sitting very close for, in the hall. So during the break, I said, what's the problem? I, he said, I have nothing, I have no problem, but I see that you are moving away. What do I do? I said, you don't like the girl next to you? Then you change your chair. Did you, you think that I'm fear? Well, I see that you are, that, you know, sometimes there are people sit, they sit, you know, close to you like that, you know, you rest. Because when you're tired, you sit like that. So very close to him, so he was moving away. And then that person, man, he was close to the man, okay, but not to the lady. So then I said, okay, you go to two men. Then he has no problem. Then after finish the evening, first day I said, you have a fear for women. Do you know that? I'm not aware. Your mother I'll ever hug you? Oh, my neighbor, my mother never hugged me. I ran away when my mother wanted to hug me. You have a sister? Yes. Your sister, you ever hug your sister? No, I never hug a woman. So I took, I said, you want to go back to past life? I said, he was past life, he was a monk. A monk. So he get close to a lady worshiper. So they have sex and he was, they hang him. So this life, woman is a problem. <laughs> so, woman is a problem. Who gave problem. birth to him, huh? <laughs> So that's why the mother no. never hugged. He says, run away, one mother doesn't hug. I said, how can you run away from your mother? Because you're born, your mother carry, you're sucking your mother's milk. Yeah, but I never conscious of that, you know. You well, see, awareness, awareness. In okay, her. so in other words, in other words, right? In other words, if you keep on blocking your past life you karma, block. you don't want to acknowledge your past. Yeah. That's equivalent to just sweeping the dirt under your carpet yeah, so that you don't see problem. it. You don't see it, you never learn the lesson. Yes. Um, and one day it's going to blow up and then you're going to have, you know, really big yeah. frustration. Yeah. So, so and then always, you start to, you know, you have to start to learn your, yeah. your lesson again. Yeah. Always remember this, every one of you listening, if you have something that's not running smooth, Check out whether it repeats itself. Normally, anything connected with past life repeats itself. It's a pattern. It's like a wave. You know, the wave coming back, coming back, coming back. So then, you know, like, for instance, people, like a guy I work with, mm -hmm. he said every five, six years, he goes back, he goes bankrupt once. Mm -hmm. You know, he has his bankruptcy, his business failure keep on coming back. So it's a pattern. When you have a pattern, I mean, I said, do you have a pattern this life? You know what I said? Mm -hmm. Yes, the father went bankrupt. Mm -hmm. So in other words, the father, he come to this family mm -hmm. to experience similar experience like his father mm -hmm. went bankrupt. So he can aware himself that he has a problem too. Mm -hmm. So, but he was not aware. He said, oh, we suffer a lot. We really, very unhappy. But that's it. I said, don't you realize that that you also have or you have this feeling that you fear you have? Yeah, I, we always talk about it. We don't want to have another bankruptcy in the family, but we never think that it's my problem. He said. So I said, that, you know. Well, probably they think that, oh, that's beyond my control. Yeah, that's my father's problem, not mine. He oh. said. My father is too greedy, he said. Uh, but not true. See, every businessman wants to earn more money and to expand business right now, we are COVID-19. A lot of, uh, well, 99% of the tourism business are dead. So a lot of people spend millions building hotels, building resorts. So they are all in big trouble. I mean, it's normal for people to have one hotel to bring a, to, to with excess, excess cash to build another hotel because the bank will always give you money and so on. So it's normal in business, you know, that's why uh, business people build the world, entrepreneurs build the world. If everybody is not doing anything, we'll be still living in Kampong or village, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. we're no road, we are drinking from the river, we get all the diseases, uh, there's no sewage system. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay, next question. Next question. Um, I hope we answered your question just now. Okay. The next question is, is there a difference? This is question is from Zuma. Is there a difference in individual karma from different tribes like Asians, Europeans, Americans, or Africans? Do these tribes have different soul age? Uh, now, soul age does not work with tribes. 
Uh, but basically, uh, countries, okay? I can tell you, if the more advanced country, mm -hmm. the so are uh, much older. Uh, like people in India, not so advanced. In Africa, some of the very poor state, uh, these people in this state, they live in very filthy condition, you know, like they sleep on the floor, uh, they drink dirty water. They are very young, so they're like animals. Yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're so converted from animals to human. Mm -hmm. So by way it's advanced, you know, like you have, you are in England or America, in New York, for instance, or even, uh, you know, you be, live in big city, mm -hmm. the soul tends to be much older. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, we, I hope we answered your question there. Yeah. The next question, okay, this is a very, uh, a, a little quite long. I, this question is from Facebook. I had no asthma growing up, but once in 2012, the haze in Peninsula Malaysia was one of the worst in history. Staying at 21st floor of a condo was really a bad idea as the concentration of burnt particulates was higher then. At 1 a.m., I was rushed to a nearby hospital and was given an inhaler. From then on, I always have one canister ever ready until now. After that, few years later, I noticed that I'll get breathing difficulties in a small, in a small dark lit room uh, too. Hence, I don't really do full body massage if the massage room is fully enclosed nowadays. And I stopped going for facial too. Modern medical term, call this as panic attack. I think this panic attack has something to do with my past lives, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. I think uh, I see the problem, my feeling is that past life, you die from a heat, heat. Uh, fire uh, in a small room. So, so this enclosed. life, yeah, enclosed small space. So that is not panic attack, that is, Panic well, attack. Modern, modern, modern term is panic attack. Well, not really. It's just that you have problem to breathe. Actually, because well, say yeah. this way, it it is. Uh, yeah, the final thing is panic attack because you can't breathe. You get scared. You 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 get excited. You have fear in uh, panic attack. But if you have panic attack like that, you know below your feet, uh, you know your below your the if you go to internet kidney point one. K1, kidney point one, under foot reflex. Uh, you massage the point one slowly. And then you breathe deep and slowly to your belly. Take deep, so breaths, then slowly, slowly, your, your, your problem go away. But I think yours is to, to do with dry. Any place that is uh, dark and dry, you have a, yeah. I think you have basically, it's a pollution problem. You don't have asthma as such. It's nothing to do with asthma. You just have this. So yours is a small problem, not not the asthma. Asthma so attack is different. Does she have to go to past life to well, resolve that problem? The yes. best, the best. Yeah, the past life is still very good uh, because you have many past life, uh, yeah, having problem like that. Mm -hmm. So by getting less and less when you have resolved them to different means. Awareness and taking action. Yeah, to awareness, resolve. taking action. In fact, have a canister and breeder, everything ready is not a solution. Like, for instance, I, I, I have a client uh, who told me that every night uh, they have an oxygen, you know, two or three oxygen tank nearby mm -hmm. because the father would, would uh, stop breathing. So imagine the mother make sure. Oh. Is uh, that when the husband cannot breathe, hear anything, any sound, then she has to wake up for 20 years. So the problem is, is, uh, is caused by a geopathic stress. The stress field from the ground that she sleep or he slept over there, that caused the stress, that caused the body going to seize her. So that can't breathe. Uh, so every time when they put oxygen there, he could, and then they have to relax him, put him on a chair, you know, he cannot sleep then put on a chair. Every time they put him on a chair, relax, because 
he sleep with cambri so he sit like that you know slanting also sit straight cannot has to slant so could breathe so now the chair has no stress but the bed has a geometric stress stress feel from the ground mm. now also for those who are uh, want to know uh, stress feel from the ground that caused the main cause of all cancer around the world okay a lot of people have uh, body organ weakness heart problem diabetic problem these are when people have heart problem and diabetic problem it is caused by the place you sleep okay good next question so um next question is um i hope we answered that question just now uh question from zoom if law shoe shows a void as well as ancestors problem which neutrocon do you start with the ancestor one or the past life one void void because uh, there's no lines in the law shoe bar oh void of frustration or void of now, in, in this case, you can either because your, your, your ancestor always connected with you. But I would prefer that you do your own first because yeah. the boy means that you have certain numbers. That's right. Past life mm -hmm. that because you have certain number, those numbers cause a problem for you. Like, for instance, people don't have eight, eight and one. You know, eight is connected with owning property, grounded property, and one to do with money. So some people like now, those people born, children born after the year of 2000, they don't have the one automatically. Those people be born before the year 2000, every one of us has a one. And one means you always have money. That's why the whole world, the modern world, we look around now, the whole major city everywhere. They were built by people in their 70, 80, 90 years old because they're born in this century. The last century, sorry, the last century. Mm -hmm. We were nine, 19, you know, 01, 90, 02, 1999, and so on. Mm -hmm. So these people all have one, they all have a nine. Nine mean fiery, powerful thinking, mm -hmm. thinking. So they all have these two numbers, which that's why the modern, I repeat, the modern world are created by people with one and nine. Yeah. But those born now with the year 2000, the whole world is going to go back. No more aggressive construction project because the more than those people born after the year 2000 are mainly deal with communication, traveling. Mm -hmm. They're not interested to see a big building coming up and then cost a lot of money, commitment and so on. So, so the, in fact, my biggest worry is not the people in the year born after year 2000. My biggest concern is people born after the year of 3000. Because There's three, a lot of growth. Yes, yeah, but 3000 is a lot of growth, but also a lot of fight and argument. There will be war. At least another big war will happen. Maybe a nuclear war will happen. Let's wait and see. In the year of 3000. But all of you are not here anyway. <laughs> you have to reincarnate. You have to reincarnate and come back to re-experience 3,000. Yeah. Okay. So in other words, uh, as a, you know, as a coach myself, I would recommend for this person to, to see which problem that is really affecting you the most. Yeah. That is preventing you from moving forward. You should work on that first. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. The independent, the, well, say this way. The urgent one. What Work is, on the urgent what is your mission you want to do? You say, okay, I want to be a millionaire. Okay, yes. a millionaire. Or what is the blockage? If you do something big, something happened, then you say, okay. You see, everything is like, if it's not flowing smooth like a water flowing around down a river, then you have a problem. Those, but becoming a millionaire is, you know, is still a, a journey to go. But sure. what is the most urgent one you need to work At the on? Moment, like, for feel? example... I, I, I'm always late to my appointment. So you work on that first because you need to have appointments to be able to build your business. So that is the most urgent one. Yeah. So you work on that one first and then slowly work towards that becoming a millionaire. Yeah, yeah. but actually I would suggest for everyone, you know, to spend a session with somebody, you know, with a coach to be able to identify, to work with you, you know, to 
fine because a lot of people have said, oh, I have so many problems. But what is the problem? What, what is your mission? What you want to do in life that's so important that you don't see that it's, you know, that your path is blocked. Uh, for instance, I mean, uh, many people, in my case, different. I said, okay, I was successful. So I said, okay, I want to be a millionaire. So I look up books and so on, study books. So I said, okay, what is the fastest way to become a millionaire? It's involved in real estate. Okay, buy land and sell land and so on. So although I was working in the government at that time, you know, for the Malaysian, British and Fed Malaysian government. So I spent my, my time, uh, instead of having hobbies, I was buying and look, studying real estate, rules, law, regulation, how people do deals and so on. So, so you know, and then, uh, uh, yeah. So I have blockages different. So, you know, you, you, then you move on, then you can say, okay, where is this blockage? Uh, I had this blockage, say, I, I feel a bit guilty to approach people for, for help. So I said, why is this? So I, I found that uh, a lot of time in my past life, when I ask people for, for help, they always give me the wrong advice. You know, I should use my own feeling going ahead, but they said, no, no, this is not good. I, once I follow the advice, things collapse. So that is also a learning process for me. So those bad advice I changed in the past life into positive. Instead of negative failure, listening to somebody. So, so then subsequently, I, of course, I talk to people, but I don't accept everything they said. So instead of, I used to, yeah, he's an expert. Okay, I must listen. But no, now I say, okay, I listen, two or three opinions. And use my feeling, my intuition, my intuition is connected to my soul. My soul is, uh, is connected to with an universal knowledge, God base. God base, you can call God or you call the universe consciousness or truth. In fact, everything happened for the next 1,000 years have already happened. So our soul is uh, in connection. That's why I have a double double bean you know 35 i'm 80 now i have double been 35 years old last night he also went somewhere and do thing so i have a bad dream too last night so <laughs> so this <laughs> so these are the connection that you know you have there you can find out so you need to sit there you know every one of you to see what is your mission what you want to achieve in your present life and and why you're not successful doing this, okay? Like some of you say, okay, you want a girlfriend, but why are you not successful? Then we say, what is the main problem? Too shy? Or you don't trust women anymore because, you know, you've seen uh, your father or mother having problem, Or you see your sister get married and this not happy? But actually their problem are not your problem, but you decided to go into the family to re-experience similar problems that you will have problem with a woman and a man and so on, you know. So like that. So people's problems are not always your problem, but they could create a, a what we call an activator for you to say, hey, maybe I also have the same problem. You know, I feel about it. So that's why always remember, use your intuition more, feeling more instead of thinking. Thinking does not help you to make the correct decision to be doing well, to to be successful in life. Thinking does not. If thinking really makes people successful, become multimillionaire, billionaire, then all the professors, all your teachers are billionaire and millionaires, but not true. Those people in the to understand those people in olden time, you know, in the 50s, 60s, those before uh, the 80s or 90s, before billionaires, even you ever heard of billionaire, before Bill Gates was a billionaire, you have people like Lee Ka Singh, uh, the richest man in Asia at that time. He was a he was a five billionaire. What five billion? He he's grown organic, but he only had primary six education. But he was using he because when you don't have a lot of education, then you use your feeling and intuition. So every step he took was were right. You know, everyone was right. So he made correct decision. But you, Bill Gates is an exception. You know, but of course, uh, yeah. So you know. Yeah, it's a different type of category of uh, yeah, making millions, billions. Okay, next. Okay. 
Now, um, yes, uh, there are two more questions here. Question from Zoom. Okay, I hope we answered the question just now. Um, the void of loneliness has not the most fortunate numbers. That's true. But someone can suffer this void. That's true. What happens after Neutricon? Can one attract quarrels because of a heel tree five and seven in this case? Because in the law shoe, in the law shoe grid, the center line that is yeah. missing is the void of loneliness. Yeah. It means to say the person is emotionless. No emotion. Yeah, emotionless. Yeah. Uh, has no emotion, is able to detach with a lot of emotions. Yeah. So um, after a neutrocon is done to heal or to get to the number back, get the number or the consciousness of these numbers back, does that, uh, will that also attract? Um, arguments? No, no. You, you see, there are always two sides of a picture. The tree, for instance, is to do with growth in springtime, growth, multiple growth, aggressiveness too. Mm -hmm. But you can have growth in harmony. You can also have growth in argument like uh, Donald Trump. Every deal he does, he did, is always fight and argue because he always bully people. I mean, you can make a lot of deals, you know, and without uh, having to argue with people. I mean, to be fair, but it's different. So it's, it's a choice that you have to, to take, you know, that, but the best deals are always deal that you deal and you complete your deal or discussion harmoniously. Then you can have three, no problem. You can have seven, which is spiritual. It can be details. But, you know, very detailed and also very spiritual. But the point is, is you can also learn to just say, okay, I'm too detailed. I'm slowing down my things. Then you say, okay, now I decided that I want to see things from a distance. Instead of so detailed, so close that I cannot see, uh, you know, things clearly. So it's up there, for instance, I'm, I don't have seven. But I'm very detailed. I train myself because I write procedures and processes during as a corporate recovery consultant because I have to make improvement to system. So I have to work things in detail. So I train myself to do that. But but that's not my normal character. Normal character, I want to see the big picture. You know, that's my behavior. So in other words, actually, um, if let's say you have gone through the Neutricon session uh, to get back the numbers three, five, and seven, I believe this person would already learn the lesson yeah. of the past. So when they come back, they would react more harmoniously rather than react or argue, yeah. you know, uh, when they get back the three or five or seven, because they already know what they need to attain yeah. in their life or what they need to do. Correct? Yes. You see, like people have three. They don't want to have three. Three means very fast growth. So they could have business doing very fast growth and then something happened. So they said, no, I don't want, I want to slow. So people want to have, then they say, okay, I maybe instead of three for growth, I have four slow growth, but I have harvest. Or they said, no, if I have too much harvest, also a lot of money I got, I also get robbed by people by rob and die. Mm -hmm. You see, the problem is not the prosperity or the effect you get, but the trauma result from having those numbers, you know, having the success. Yeah. Uh, for instance, you know, that's why in olden time, you see the film you see now, mm -hmm. very rich people, you know, they're very rich. Mm -hmm. uh, when a country want to go for war, the, the royal family or the imperial palace, well, we will ask them to donate food for the soldier, donate money if they don't, they'll cut their business off and all kill them. And I, we just saw a film where the guy was doing so well helping the government, but, but because the, the, the bad officials said, that, well, why do we have to ask this guy every time when we need uh, rice or ration? Mm -hmm. Why don't we take over all their business so that we can, don't have to ask permission. Mm -hmm. You know, since we are Imperial Palace, we control everybody. So like you know things like that sometimes you have but then then we are knowing that you you kill the guy but he has all the connection to bring the food from every provinces you know from even from enemy provinces 
to come to the your your own kingdom. So that's why a lot of people have short sight, you know, sight thinking, short sighted short thinking. They say, okay, I kill you, I got one thing. But the guy is just like a goose lay a golden egg. You say, well, you kill the goose. You should allow the egg, uh, the the goose to lay more eggs. Basic principle. So those far sighted ones. Would yeah, be far sighted. Yeah, it made them have to look at the long term, not just short term uh, gains. In life, it is what we do. Okay, so I hope we answered your question there. Yeah. The next question is from Zoom. Is there a connection between human karma and the effects of climatic changes on Earth in this time? Uh, of course, uh, there are human uh, connection for people who are polluters and also for people who want to save the world. Human polluters and those people, uh, you know, like for instance, uh, the billionaires who are making all the money, the chemical company, uh, they, they are making chemicals. Mostly, uh, most of these chemical companies are in America, in uh, Germany, you know, and uh, in many parts, France and so on, and also in Australia. Uh, yeah. Of course, there are karmic uh, connection too, because maybe they, they, they were not so successful in their previous life in control uh, weeds and plants and, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. so, or animal destruction or, or locusts and all those uh, the crops or this time they come, they want to create poison uh, to control those pests. And as a result, they destroy the world. Of course, there are always connection. You know, nothing happened by accident. Remember this, everything is connected commonly. I've, now I'm 80, I can tell you, every time when somebody said, no, this has no connection with past life, I always curious and go back to past life. I'm able to do it for myself and also to do it for other people, ask their permission from their soul so that we can see the reality of facts. So I found that everything is interconnected. There is nothing we call separation. We all human, for instance. If you, another human is killed in Afghanistan, you think that we don't feel the feeling? But, can't we, but we are so numb. My modern society and things doing, we don't feel it. But you know, in Russia, they have done tests. They put 10 plants, 50 meters, 30 to 50 meters apart, okay? The same species, they stimulate, cause pain on one plant, all the other nine plants also get the shock. I mean, we humans are more sensitive True. than just a plant. So of course, but of course, you feel the pain, maybe I scratch that mosquito bite, yeah, we get numb to it, you know, we're not that feeling anymore. Mm -hmm. I can tell you this, whatever problem caused, one human died, you are the human species. It affects your cells. Okay? So, okay. yeah. Hope that answers that question. Yes. And on. you got There's more another questions. Question. Uh, how about, the next question is about, uh, from Facebook, how about those serial killers? Referring to those who will abduct torture before they kill their victims. I wonder what kind of past lives that these people have had. Is there a possibility that something has happened when they were conceived? Yes. Uh, normally people... Was it be when they were conceived or it's already in their soul that they need to kill people? No, it's like this. These people in past life, they also, they are very brutal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they come to this life to make changes, mm -hmm. but then they go to family to make changes. But things has not happened like that. So event cause them to be mentally disoriented. So I find that, for instance, okay, now this is very everyone listen carefully. Everyone who kills somebody, they have a ghost in their body. They have a ghost in their body that get them to commit the crime or commit suicide. You know, nobody, no human will die or commit suicide if they don't have a ghost in their body. In other words, we have a soul. So 
a lot of people, I've done a lot of work on uh, exorcism for people who have mental disorder uh, or people who have schizophrenic. Normally, schizophrenic is people have one ghost in their body. Uh, normally caused by sleeping in a stress-filled area. So the stress at night is from the ground. Uh, break has broken up the auric field. You see, we have an auric field around us. It's like shepherd egg. So when you're sleeping in a stress field, your auric field is, is like a wave, you know, like a, a, a wavy. <laughs> so the ghost can come in. Wandering spirit can come in and then it goes and stay in your solar plexus. So if you take this ghost away, invite or take that ghost away, that person become normal again with vitamin B complex. They become normal uh, human. So normally when people are, have strong brutality, like Hitler, for instance, Hitler has three goals in his body when, you know, from the picture we have, we see. So Saddam Hussein, for instance, he has one goal in his body. That's why he was doing very brutal thing. Whereas uh, uh, Colonel Gaddafi, people, although uh, Western press talk a lot of things bad about him, they were brutal, but he didn't go around killing his people. He has no goals on his body. But of course, if you have... Uh, uh, a dictatorship, you want control and so on, you have to kill somebody. I mean, that's understand from all, uh, you know, ancient history of uh, kingdoms and so on. You know, they have to be brutal and war and so on. But you take it from me, every person who kills somebody, okay, serial killer, they're mentally disoriented. What about those people who likes to see people suffer before they kill them? Yeah, because they are sadic, sadists. So they, they have this threat in past life. They bring to this life. You see, they, you, see you have to uh, understand that uh, not every day in the life of a person, a person is sadist or, or you know, savvy to kill. But a certain age connected with past life, when they start to do this sadist killing. So this life will be at a similar time. Now, we work with a lot of people. Now, uh, I'm sure a lot of you listening also, suddenly you have a severe pain. Like man, suddenly he has severe pain on the right side of the leg. Yeah, actually, I was having some pain here. Yeah, yeah he couldn't walk. And then, uh, you know, doctor x-ray, nothing. They don't see anything. So doctor just give multiple injection of painkiller every day. So for a few weeks, so that I was, was referred to me, I said, take a photograph of that photo of the leg. So I found that leg was cut off in past life. So I sealed that back in within five minutes, I got a reply back from their side, pain all gone. So that is healing spiritually, them affect the, you know, but I can tell you this, if you can do pre-healing, means that you consult a guy, a person like our, our group, that do rejuvenation, okay? Our group is in Chimek. Chimek group, we do rejuvenation. So we clear a lot of, you know, I've, I've done it for a long time. So average, every person come to me for rejuvenation. I take away two to 500 arrows and uh, spear wounds. You imagine that you saw three to 4 million years old. You have 100 over reincarnation, thousand, hundred thousand. Remember, 100 old thousand, all of you listening, okay? All of you, no exception, had more than 100,000 reincarnation. In olden time, the average lifespan is about 30, 28 to 30 years old. The Roman time, 24 years old. The Chinese time, 23 years old. They go to war and die, you know, like those Chen Zhu Wang time, the, uh, the, the king, the emperor, they built the Great War. Those time, 14, 15 years old, you go to war, they die. So anyway, so we found that a lot of this problem, you know, connected to past life, you know, people die, they're all connected. So you can see this. So there are no, remember this, the, the life, the problem they have, certain guy at age of 30, something caused them to mad. So they, they feel that so, they're all whelmed by thoughts and thinking of killing. So they go around killing people. But not all the time they do this. Because why? Most time they have a ghost. They they are so angry. Their solar plexus burst. So a ghost go in. So that ghost make them to do this. So that time of killing, they feel thrill. 
and excited because the ghost inside making them do it. So they go and kill. After that, then they regret, but they can't solve the problem. So they go into depression. So then they come back out again and then they can repeat again. So that is we call serial killer. They come back and come back and come back. But I tell you, a uh, mental hospital is not a good place for them because I tell you, everyone in a mental hospital, they have minimum two ghosts. People with schizophrenic, only one ghost, but people with mental disorder, three, four, five, six. In fact, uh, one group of my uh, consultant, after they, they learn about this uh, Nutricon course and also do exorcism, we do exorcism too. You know what? One time uh, in uh, Holland, in Amsterdam, the jail, the, the, what do you call it? The, the uh, mental hospital was almost empty because they were helping people to get rid of, to do exorcism, take the ghosts out of their body. As a result, they become normal. So they were discharged. So the hospital or mental hospital almost empty. Yeah. So, so anybody, remember this, anybody who is not normal, you think talking to themselves, you know, or have a severe streak of aggression, mean that they could have a ghost in their body. So they need to get somebody like us who can do exorcism to take this, their ghost out, extra ghost out. Then they have no problem. They start to restore back to normal health. So we do a lot of things, you know, to do with uh, past life, to do with present life. We do exorcism, we do organ rejuvenation. People have severe health problem, heart attack, uh, you know, all like that, or strokes. Uh, we do rejuvenation, rejuvenate all the organs and uh, dissolving blood clot. Uh, stroke, every stroke is connected with blood clot on the head or other parts of the body. We use higher vitality energy, from a distant Qigong to you. Yeah, okay. we do all this. Okay, so I, I hope we answered the question just now. Yes. My, my, oh, so. my bandage is keep on coming off. So any more questions? Uh, okay, me. no more questions from the floor, but I do have one last question for today, which is about relationship, which is about relationship. Is can Nutricon help people with relationship problem, like the husband and wife uh, kind of relationship? Yes, of course. You see, uh, the husband or the wife you marry, it is not the first time you met. Mm -hmm. That's why you said when you met, you know, there's so many, half of the world population is women and half of the men. There's so many women or men, why you select that specific person? Because you have connection before. Now, now a lot of people just have one night stand, you know, the one night stand, the, the, they see, or oh, they have a, a fling, a relationship six months or a year, but then they break off and so on. But these are not heavy karma. When you have heavy responsible karma, means that you must get married to have children because you have children, want to solve the karma with you too. See, like my I have three children. I have lots of karma with them too. So they come to this life, to my life. So I have to go and help them to, to create those karma with them. So like husband and wife, if two persons argue and divorce, okay, then they have not solved the karma because we're coming to solve karma to have children. Because for instance, uh, like the other day I worked with a, a lady asked me, I said, I said, try not to divorce the man first, because this is the 67 times you've been husband and wife with this person. Mm -hmm. So it's best to resolve it. Otherwise, when you die, you're still in this harmonious state of divorce state. Then you have to come back another life to become husband and wife and learn your lesson. You have not learned the lesson. Mm -hmm. So always, I can tell you, I've gone through uh, I spent the first three years of my working life as a social welfare, state social welfare uh, officer in the government, British government, and then in the, uh, in the Malaysian government. So I worked with a lot of people having divorce and want to divorce and so on, come to me for counseling. So I learned over the years, you know, uh, but when I was doing counseling, before I signed the magistrate certificate for them to divorce, I always spend time counseling. 
I never had a couple uh, divorce in my when I was doing the work because most of the issue are very small jealousy, money problem, children education, you know, these, these are very basic. Some of them come with the same behavior, similar behavior like past life. So if the neutercon you can change a woman or change the man behavior, so then the conflict that they have is not there anymore. You need, uh, you know, give and take. But if both hitting together, argue and refuse to let go, that's why I always ask people, when you were first met, you have the first sex, were you fighting? Of course you were not. You're very harmonious, full of love. But now, what caused that problem? So when you take them back past life, you can see that the pattern is the same. That's why they have 30, 50, 60 times married, you know, uh, people. Uh, yeah, one, one guy was asking me, how do I solve my parents' fighting problem? I said, they have been together for 50 over years, you know, 50 times over. Us. So you are, you know, you come to the family. So I said, what you do can take you back past life. So you, because you are connected by blood and genetic with your parents. So we can solve that problem we make, and resolve your parents' past life divorce. So that instead of divorce, they're not divorced. So this life, then they start to become good. You see, love is the key. When people have love back, yeah, people fight because they don't have the love. That's the key. How many are key? Love. But it could also be because of the person's own past life that well, is that is creating a, a problem. Yeah, because the past life anchor, mm -hmm. okay, past life, because there's something deep make them, that person or the, the two persons so angry that they decided to finish their relationship. So then they die, they never patch up again. So this life, they come back again, hoping to learn the lesson and be harmonious until they die. But yet, they, that conflict come out again. You know, the same, for instance, if at the age of 40, okay, one man 40 or the one uh, 35, they have this conflict and divorce. So next life, they have, they meet again, not only the same person, but another person, they will have the same conflict. So, so in, in the memory, the trigger, like the person have a broke, uh, leg cut off at the age of uh, 46, the same year time that the leg was cut off. So that event happening instantaneously, like a, a, a Mexican woman for, for 10 months, suddenly out, going out shopping, she couldn't walk. She fell, she just collapsed because the right hip was so painful, she had, couldn't even sit, she had to really people move her up, put her in a chair and she was, they have to send her to the hospital, give injection every three, four days, every day, at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, the pain came back because that was the time in that previous life, she had a spear, spear into her hip. So I asked them to send a, a photo. I pull out the, the, the spear and heal back the wound. The next day I got a text back, no more pain. Mm -hmm. Now, up to now, that's about a year. I said, if you have pain, please refer back to me. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So a lot of things like that, you know, connected uh, this life. So, you know, um, continue to finish. If, you know, if we were, my, that's why we have a rejuvenation uh, uh, therapy course in October, November. So we would suggest that everyone, in fact, baby or children's best to do a rejuvenation so that we take away all the past life death, you know, uh, caused by arrow and spear. Mm -hmm. If we were to take away all this, mean this life, they would not have to suffer. People, especially in the heart area, if you have 10, 20, 30 arrows and spear in your heart area at this time, you have to understand you, you have 100 over reincarnation, a lot of deaths, you know. So if we were to take away all these uh, spear wound, arrow wounds and so on and heal back, then all those heart problems that normally people experience in this life will not happen. But if you were to take away those before when when they are still babies, that means to say they will never learn the lesson. But because awareness is important, the parents are awareness. 
parents' awareness. A parent awareness also. The children because, always come to the family to re-experience yeah. so that they can make Solve changes. The problem. So now the mother or father understood about this problem. Then they help you to resolve the problem. Okay. So that means that you get help from your parents or you get help from society through your parents until you're grown up. But when you out, go out to your work, you're on independent, then you are to defend yourself. You know, so that is a different. But then the child will never learn their own lesson. Yeah, that's why. Uh, but no, the, the, the parents is really surrogate to solve the problem. Surrogate. The parents help you to solve the problem. That's why we encourage this. You know, yeah. If your parents can solve your problem, help you because they are connected to you. You know, one thing is this. Uh, a lot of this issue, the death, uh, the injuries that you caused, that we saw, uh, the uh, the problem, money problem, the problem of a relationship, marriage breakup, and fight, and so on. You resolve this. Is you know what? You also affect other members of the family. Whatever changes you make, you know the future has already happened. So you change the future for the better, so that the potential conflict of the future will not happen. You know, it's like. You have a computer screen, you change the program. So whatever happened now, you know, will be changed and the future will change. You change the past, you change the present, you change the future. That's how things yeah, work. That's why we have the quote there, heal the past, improve the present, quantumly transform the future. Great. Thank you for so, your <laughs> <laughs> So that's the, that marks the end of our session today. Uh, we didn't have our normal games today because uh, we just have, you know, we're just into all this uh, discussion about the experiences, about life, uh, human life, emotional experiences. It's very interesting. We always talk about these kind of things. And uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, we, are, we are closing up today for here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah thank you very much for listening in. And uh, we thank our friends on Facebook as well, as well as in Zoom for, for your precious time to share with us here for, you know, for two hours. Um, for those who missed this, you can always watch on the YouTube channel, our AI Wellness uh, YouTube channel, yeah? So. Yeah, okay, good. So <laughs> thank you everyone. Uh, well, among ourselves, uh, we have uh, over 3,000 consultants, the various few on uh, changing behavior pattern uh, in Chimek Feng Shui, yeah. healing land and all this. So we, we have a package that can improve your life uh, from A to Z. Uh, so yeah, we have a complete set. For instance, we have architects, we have engineers, we have doctors, we have judges, we have a lot of... I've uh, we have students from sixty five countries. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I only now I'm locked. We are locked down here in uh, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah. Normally, these are the time that I'm. I spend ninety percent of the, my time is overseas, and uh, this time we are locked in, and uh, I have to do gardening every day. And that's why we're um, having our live uh, Zoom and Facebook uh, session every Friday. Uh, we try to make it every Friday. So we have another topic to talk about next Friday. We'll announce it in a while. Um, and uh, if you need any Nutricon coaching or any Nutricon therapy from any one of our Chimek, uh, Chimek Nutricon coach coach, yeah. or practitioners, um, they are located in, in the Netherlands, yeah. in Germany, in anyway, Switzerland. No. Any country that you need, uh, just let us know if you do not know where to find them or, um, yeah, just contact us and we'll connect you with, um, well, actually, with the uh, one closest to you. With the technique that we have, I taught my students, they can uh, also work with you online like we're doing now. Yes, we're yes. chatting. So there's no need uh, anywhere in the world, including outer space, you know, uh, spaceship up there. You suddenly have a, you, you have a you have a, a astronaut suddenly you decided to commit suicide, then you you have a problem that spaceship will never come back. So we can do a neutral concession with that uh, astronauts, you know. 
so that they don't die or you know like you see this movie somebody about to press a, a nuclear weapon uh, to kill another country we give them a neutral concession <laughs> and then they will stop doing it then they say oh yeah i'm going to die too because some people say no it doesn't matter i die but when they know that they're going to die they say oh yeah hey, it's not the time for me to die as well so they change they will not press the button <laughs> so we can do also all the therapy i would say 90 percent of the therapy we do for different things except uh, even now in uh, doing feng shui and also reactivating the land that you are living on, uh, yeah, we can do offline too, that we have different technology and techniques to do this. So if you have problem, any issue on human issues, yeah, uh, yeah you can always if, contact us. If you us. do not know where to go, where to you go, can come can... to us, AEI yeah. Wellness or Chi Mag as well, we will connect you with the right person. Yeah. That can help world. you. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank okay. you, everyone, Thank you for your listening. Uh, we will. Thank you. Thank you.